Ram. Namaste. In this practice, we are going to focus on Swadhisthan, the center of creativity. This center is linked to the Bija Mantra, Vam. So we are going to use this mantra throughout the practice. So come to a comfortable seated position, sit up straight, relax your hands on your lap, shoulders down, lengthening the neck, crown to the sky, base rooted and stable and start connecting with your breath or observe this flow as you breathe in and out through your nostrils And notice that when you inhale, your belly expands. When you exhale, your belly gently drops. Now place your hand index and middle finger right below your navel in this area is located swadhisthan your sacral chakra breathing into swadhisthan and breathing out Breathing in and breathing out and visualize what is done as a bright orange light radiating in all directions. Slowly bring your palms to your chest, breathing in to three Om. Om. Slowly release your hands. You can use Gyan Mudra if you want. And we're going to chant Om Vam. So on your inhalation, you silently chant Om on the exhalation. Let's begin. Vam. 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 Last time. 
Ram. Slowly open your eyes, release your hands. And from here, we are going to work on Ujjayi breath. Ujjayi breath, the glorious breath, is done using only the upper part of the body. So we will breathe in and out through the nose, making a sound with the throat. It's a bit like um, exhaling with your mouth open. Notice the, uh, the sound you make. And now closing your mouth, keeping that sound during your breathing. So, breathing in and out through the nose, making the Ujjayi breath sound. The reason why we're using Ujjayi breath today is that this sound reminds us of water, of the waves of the ocean. So, since Swadhisthan's element is water, we'll be connecting with this element through the Ujjayi breath the ocean breath. Let's begin. And slowly let go of Ujjayi, take a deep inhalation and a long exhalation just to return to your natural breathing. Ujjayi breath is also used as a reminder to breathe. In yoga we sometimes tend to forget to breathe, so Ujjayi comes as a wise reminder. So through this practice, we'll try to use Ujjayi breath to feel the engagement with Swadhisthan and its fluid energy. So expand your arms, inhale, look up to the sky and exhale, bringing your palms together, Namaskara Mudra, all the way down. Inhale, opening up to the sky and exhale. Three more times, sinking breath and movement. Your neck follows the movement. So looking up on the inhalation, looking down on the exhalation. Last round. And exhale. 
release hands on the mat inhale to lift your left arm up exhale to open your chest to the left you can stay on your right hand or on the elbow try to keep your chest open don't collapse on the side both sitting bones are touching the mat so find your measure find your own personal alignment breathing in and out option to hold the back of your head if you have issues in your left shoulder and inhale to come up exhale to release a couple of deep breaths here just to find length in your neck in your spine inhale right arm up exhale to extend side stretch feel the stretch in the right side of your body as you look up to the sky breathing in and out inhale to come up exhale to release make your way to tabletop position wrist on the shoulders knees on the hips let's start with a gentle wrist warm-up so palms facing out back in out back in last time out back in and then back to the center spreading your fingers activating your palms activating your hands Marjorie Asana to warm up the spine inhale to open the chest exhale to draw your belly in inhale open exhale you decide your own pace so it can be a fast Marjorie Asana or a very slow paced one tuning in with your own rhythm And now widening your Marjorie Asana to find comfort on your heels and then slowly come up, opening, curving your spine and back on your heels. Inhale, following your own way. And here, start using your jai breath. Last round, inhale. 
curving the spine, exhale. And back to center. Widening your knees, bring your big toes together, finding your balasana. Extend your arms, forehead to the mat. Breathing in to three, vam. So bring your breath, bring your prana to swadhisthan, be below your navel. Breathing in, vam. 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 Slowly lift your head, walk your hands back. Coming back into tabletop position, finding your alignment, spread your fingers, touch your toes, entering your first downward facing dog with your knees bent, press your hands, tailbone to the sky, belly on your thighs, maybe stretch one leg at the time, activating your glutes, activating your calves, your core, inhale to lift your heels up, tailbone up, and exhale to lower. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Arms rotate externally, thighs rotate internally, core slightly engaged. And slowly walk between your hands. Uttanasana. And slowly unroll your spine and come to standing. Stay here for a moment. If you feel dizzy, you can open your eyes, you can breathe through your mouth. Inhale to raise your arms up to Urdhvastasana, slight back bend. Exhale to lower, option to bend your knees. Inhale to Ardhaltanasana, lengthening the spine. Exhale to lower. Inhale to come all the way up, Urdhvastasana. Exhale to Namaskara Mudra. Inhale, Urdhvastasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthening the spine. Exhale, low. Inhale to come all the way up. Exhale, Namaskara. Last round. Inhale, Urdhvastas. Exhale, Uttanasana. 
Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, lengthening the spine. Exhale. Inhale to come all the way up. And exhale to Namaskara Mudra. Take a moment here to focus on your Swadhisthan Chakra, your ability to express your creativity, to experience pleasure in a healthy way. To remind yourself that the body is a temple which needs to be nurtured and taken good care of. Through this practice we are honoring the body and we are honoring the soul. Now release your hands so heels in line with your knees in line with your hips in line with your shoulders and we're going to do chandra breathing so inhale to interlock your fingers shoulders down Inhale in the center, exhale to the side. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And let's do it in a more dynamic way. Last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale to the center and exhale to release your arms lower in Uttanasana. Bend your knees, drop your head. Option to grab your elbows and sway side to side three vam here vam vam Vam. Slowly release your hands and gently unroll your spine and come to standing. Hands on your hips, widen your legs feet pointing out 45 degrees finding your base for goddess so finding your own alignment inhale to lengthen your spine so feet are super active super rooted exhale to lower Cactus arms, activating your arm muscles, your shoulders, opening the chest, 
feeling the stretch in your hips, breathing in and out, focusing on Swadhisthan right below your navel. Your sacral chakra. Ujjayi breath. Inhale to extend both legs and arms up. Exhale to release. Find your goddess once again. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale into goddess. Now rest your right forehead on your thigh and extend your left arm over your head. Core engaged, breathing in and out. Ocean breath as a reminder. Inhale to release, exhale to lower, inhale, exhale to stretch on the other side. Inhale to come up, exhale to release. Now gently make your way to the front of your mat. Inhale to open to the sky, exhale to lower. Step back, find your downward facing dog. Big stretch. Inhale to lift your right leg up. Exhale to step. Now drop your left knee. Open your right foot 45 degrees. Bring your right hand uh, to the left of your right foot. Inhale to lengthen the spine in lizard pose. Feeling a deep stretch in your hips. If you can, slowly lower on your forearm. Breathing in and out option to move a little bit to the left corner of your mat. Maybe in this way you find more comfort, more, more opening. Three bum here. Bum. Vam. Vam. Slowly. 
slowly place your hands on the mat, lengthening the spine first, bringing your arm over your right foot, step back, finding downward facing dog for a quick stretch, breathing in and out, Ujjayi breath, Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, step. Drop your knee. So, left hand in. L left foot pointing 45 degrees out. Lengthening the spine first. And then slowly lowering on your forearms and stay here for three bum bum Vam. Vam. Slowly walk your hands back. Find your downward, downward facing dog. Big, big stretch. Inhale into plank. Exhale, option to lower on your knees or without using your knees. Forehead on the mat. Inhale to cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale, lower on your knees. Find your balasana. Vam, breathing in. Vam. 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 Slowly walk your hands back, make your way to seated. Now take your left leg in line with your mat and just open your right leg in this way we try to keep both hips on the mat okay so extend your arms find length in the spine 
and notice if you feel comfortable, if you have to make any adjustment in your pose to keep the spine straight, to keep the base in line. Inhale to raise your arms, exhale to fold forward. If this is okay, you can stay here. If you want to challenge yourself, you can walk your hands to the left for a slight twist. Slowly return to your center, bring your hands behind you, back, change side, and find your center here, same position, lengthening the spine, crown to the sky, base to the earth, inhale, and exhale to walk your hands forth doesn't have to be a massive forward fold. And option to walk to the side for a gentle twist. You can stay or you can lower. And slowly walk your hands back, come to the center. From here, lie on your back, keeping your knees bent. See if, we, if you can slightly touch your heels with your middle finger. This should ideally be your alignment. So long neck, shoulder pressing down, hands pressing down. We're going to do dynamic Setu Bandhasana a few times. So with the inhalation, we lift the hips, chest to chin, using our thigh muscles, our core muscles, our glutes. And slowly, vertebra by vertebra, we're going to release the pose. So let's begin. Inhale, lift, pressing hands, arms, shoulders. Engage your thigh muscles, your glutes. Lifting the chest towards the chin. There is no weight, no stress on, you, on your neck. And slowly, slowly, slowly lower your spine once again. And again. Wow. 
And last time, inhale, inhale, inhale. Interlock your fingers behind your back. Draw your shoulders in, pressing a bit more, lifting your hips. A couple of breaths here. And slowly release your hands and gently lower your spine. Lying with your spine on the mat, finding that land, breathing in. And notice the slight curve in your lower back. And as you breathe out, your back is completely touching the mat. Just notice this natural micro movement. Inhale, light curve. Exhale, touching the mat. Inhale. And exhale, drawing your navel to the spine. Now draw your knees to your chest. Release your right leg. Both hands hold your left knee towards your chest or towards your left armpit. Inhale and exhale to guide your knee a bit higher up. Right foot is active, both hips are stable on the mat, inhale and exhale. Now using your right hand, draw your left knee to the right, you can open your left arm and look to the left or keep your eyes closed. Feel the stretch, feel comfort. If this is too much, you can bend both knees to the right. Slowly return to the center, hug both knees towards your chest. Deep inhalation and long exhalation. Extend your right leg, active foot, or maybe the other, sorry. So extend your left leg, active foot. Draw your right knee towards your chest or your right armpit. Breathing in and out.
extend your left leg draw your right knee towards your chest left foot is active find that length find that stretch And slowly draw your left knee, your right knee to the left. Extend your right arm. Look over your shoulder or keep your eyes closed. Slowly return to the center, grab the outer edge of your feet for Happy Baby Ananda Balasana and gently sway. It's like being on the ocean. Feel that flow. Feel your Ujjayi breath. And slowly release your feet on the mat, keeping your knees bent. Place one hand on the belly, one hand on the chest. And we're going to do Samavritti Pranayam. First, breathing in for four and breathing out for four. And then we'll extend the exhalation, breathing out for five in the second cycle. So just notice the movement of the breath in your hands. So when you breathe in, your chest and your belly rise. When you breathe out, your chest and your belly drop. So breathe in for one, two, three, four, exhale four, three, two, one, inhale one, two, three, four, exhale four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. And continue for three more cycles following your own pace. Deep inhalation and long exhalation. Breathing into Swadhisthana, connecting with your sacral chakra energy. On your last exhalation, return to your natural breath. 
bring your knees together touching and we're going to do a cycle of um, pranayama where we breathe in for four and breathe out for five to relax the nervous system and get ready for shavasana so breathe in for one two three four exhale five four three two one inhale one two three four exhale five four three two one inhale one two three four exhale five four three two one and continue for three more cycles following your own rhythm And on the last exhalation, take a deep breath in and a long breath out, letting go of the counting and returning to your natural breath. Gently release your legs, release your arms, palms facing up, Finding your most comfortable Shavasana. Completely relax your body from crown to toes and from toes to crown. Relax your feet, relax your ankles. Relax your calves, relax your shins, completely relax your knee joints, relax your thighs and your glutes, soften your hip area, soften your belly, Relax the rib cage, relax the chest, relax the shoulders, the arms, the wrists, the palms, the finger and the fingertips. Relax your neck and your throat. Relax your chin. And clench your teeth. Relax your jaw. Soften your lips and your tongue. Completely relax your face muscles. Relax the space between your eyebrows. That's Agya Chakra, your third eyes, the place of clarity and intuition. And visualize a beautiful light entering through your third eye and reach your Swadhisthan Chakra below your navel reaching the center of fluid creative energy 
And imagine a beautiful orange light. Expanding from Swadistan in all directions, reaching every single cell of your body. Om Vam Om Vam Om Vam Slowly return to the present moment. Return to your body. Return to your breath. Take a deep inhalation and a long exhalation. Feel the energy flow through the body. Feel this gentle awakening. Start moving your toes, your fingers, the wrists, the ankles, giving your body a nice gentle massage. Slowly Bend your knees, bring arms overhead and slowly make your way to the right side and just stay here for one last moment to soak up this beautiful energy you've created this beautiful connection with Swadhisthan, your sacral chakra. Pride yourself for showing up to your sadhana, which is your physical and spiritual practice. And remind yourself that this very energy is always available to you. You only need to tap into it and reconnect with your true blissful self. Whenever you're ready, make your way to seated with your legs crossed, eyes closed, Bring palms to your chest, breathing in to Om and Trishanti. Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Namaste. Yeah.